Charge scuba hide. Not a big fan, I have to say. That's what make me sick. Don't really need that. should uh, try eating one of all of these components. It's, um, I haven't got around to that yet. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Um, yes, you out of the doorway would be nice. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna set off early tomorrow. A load of people both leave and join. Everybody okay? Ah, excellent, well rested. Let's get some food. Okay, Ventec, we'll see you in a few minutes. And we should have some perks we can spend. Save and then we'll get out of here. Why don't you save all that chit chat for the winches and the taverns? I don't think. <laughs> Excellent, Selfos. Thank you very much. Great, we're sitting out in a snowstorm. Always good. Need a ride? No.
just check the map. Yep. There, that's where we're headed. In the middle of a snowstorm. Yes, it's the perfect time for exploration when you've got frostfall installed. Guaranteed to uh, induce exposure. Oops. We really do need a horse. Unfortunately, we've only got 2,000 septums at the moment. I think the cheapest one is about 4,000. To Fortress. I'm on a pilgrimage to the Shrine of Azura, the goddess of twilight, if you'll excuse me. Um, that's where we're headed. In the mountains to the northeast. I'll mark it on your map. Uh, I've already got it, thanks. I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunk and It's been too long since okay. had a good band of Yeah, I'm carrying a tent and plenty of firewood as well. It's um, pretty much the only thing that's going to allow us to get up there, I think. But it doesn't hurt to stop and warm up at various points along the way. The next little milk drinker to ask about my armor is getting a limb removed. I don't know about Hoth, though, how Hoth manages, though. He's actually got bare feet. Okay, let's get going. Problem, boys. Yeah. Apparently, in Eris's eyes, that was exactly the right thing to do. Let's get a torch out and see if we can uh, last a bit longer. Two left. That goat has got a bell on it. I can hear it. <laughs> the last time we came up this way, there was a huge bear up here, but uh, looks like he's not going to. Looks like we took care of him. So good. Which is nice. And here we are. See what the priestess has got to say for herself. Don't know how she managed. I kind of walk upstairs now. Don't know how she manages to survive up here. Azura Star, I knew the Lady of Twilight had sent you for a reason. Hand it over to me. 
I will ask Azura to restore the star to its original purity. Um, here, take it. I will commune with Azura. Azura, mother of Rope, goddess of dusk and dawn, your chosen champion has returned your star. <laughs> what is <laughs> oh, this? Just taking the mic. Place your hands on the altar, and you will hear her voice. Greetings, mortal. You have followed my guidance through the veils of twilight, and rescued my star from Malan Vera. But his soul still resides within, protected by his enchantments. Until he is purged, my artifact is useless to you. Is there any way to cleanse the star? Eventually, the star will fade back into my realm in oblivion. But I doubt you have the hundred or so years it would take to wait. No, only one option remains. I will send you inside the star. You will banish Malin's soul there. Tell me when you are ready, mortal. Are we ready? Are we ready? I think... Um, I think we're ready. It means getting out of the cold Have as well. faith, mortal. I will be watching over you. Ah, my son. Why? Oops. There's something different about you. This experiment of yours is over. And who are you to challenge me? I have conquered mortality itself. I've spat in the eyes of the Daedric Lords. This is my realm now. I've sacrificed too much to let you take it from me. Never should have come. All right, let's get rid of this torch. Um, I wonder if we're actually on our own. Because that could make this um, quite interesting. Ow. Good. Useful. Uh, well, okay then. kind of expecting it to be a lot more difficult than that. Well, that's quite a cool sword. Where the hell am I getting that from? Oh, it's dimmed down there. Uh, yes, I have heard exactly the same thing, Zelfos. You have to be able to shout in order to get to it, though. I know you can hear me. <sighs> Where is he? Can't see him. I'm hiding, obviously. Damn it. The star is free to purify itself. Don't worry, mortal. I will return you before you are cleansed. My star has been restored, and Malin's soul has been consigned to oblivion. You have done well, mortal. As was destined, 
You are free to use my star as you see fit. Thank you, Lady Azura. Farewell, mortal. Know that Azura will be guarding over the threads of your fate in the twilight. Seems quite pleasant for a date. What is it? What do you know about this place? Much too cold for me. Some of my guild friends say there's a few abandoned ships off the coast worth investigating. Sure thing. While you were in the star, Azura gave me a vision. Her last, she said. I have never been without Azura's foresight since escaping Morrowind. I don't know what to do. If you need me, I'd be honored to accompany you, Guardian of the Star. It would give me a purpose. Um. Hmm. Oh. Don't really think we need another follower at the moment. Twilight, watch over you, Guardian. No, she said my part was over, that my fate had moved beyond the twilight, and I was on my own. I will tend Azura's shrine when you do not need me. I still have my duties, but for the first time I feel alone. Okay, well it's nice to know that and she's there, time, if we do need her. Um, Hoth appears to have gone somewhere. I once knew a guy who survived in a dark cave off raw fish for months just to find his stupid ring. I'll tell you about it sometime when our fellowship travels to the place. It does make me smile, that one. Right, um, well, let's save that and we'll try and get out of here before we freeze to death. We have Azura Star, which is nice. Daedric artifact, all of our own. Who's that? Is that that pilgrim guy? No, that's a Khajiit. Let's catch him up and have a quick word with him. Well, Kadojo. Well met, traveller. I am Kaidojo, a monk, making the pilgrimage to the shrine of Azura. Not every day I meet a Daedric monk. The end today will be no different than any other. For while I recognize Azura's place in the pantheon of the divines, the Daedra hold no particular favor in the doctrine I follow. Some may see the line between Aedra and Daedra as a means of separation, when the divide itself is the true nature of our existence. It is in the eye of the storm that one finds balance, and with balance comes the flourishing of life. Oh, that's a bit harsh, isn't it? Daedra and divines their evil. Uh, explain this doctrine of yours. I follow the path of balance through opposition. The Aedra and Daedra are the embodiment of this mantra. It is a common misconception that these balancing forces are the spirit of good and evil, a reductive and flawed interpretation. The Aedra are the agents of stasis and order. The Daedra are the essence of change and chaos, for chaos itself cannot be an agent of anything. When the two are in balance, time progresses at its natural flow. The world changes as it stays the same. Although in truth, it is not for us to attach labels to the cradles. If mortals cannot divide, 
nature of themselves. It is quite presumptuous to try the same with the gun. Are you an immersive NPC? I think you may well be. Um, I don't need your help, so I'm not going to ask you anymore. So, I'm guessing at this point what we really need to do is head south. Well, actually head back to Windsor and get the cart back south again. Because, um, this weather isn't suitable for us, I don't think. Go and grab a quick sleep at the inn. Get our health back. And uh, we can head back out again. So we can sell some stuff um, and sell some stuff and uh, buy ourselves a horse as well. Might make life a bit easier when we're travelling. Um, okay, not quite sure why it's there, but I'll take it. Nip in here and warm up again. in the chat room, either you're uh, oh, settling down to sleep, uh, either you're really enjoying the stream or everyone's got bored and left. <laughs> 8.34am. Was that and I go way back? Let me just tell you, on second thought, I'll keep that to myself. Useful travel spell. What's the travel spell on the, on your druid playthrough? <laughs> well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Anyway, it's good that uh, everyone's enjoying it enough to just sit back and watch. Hey, what's the uh, what's the travel spell on your druid playthrough, brother? You uh, using that as the uh, building in the fast travel? Kind of fast running. Oh, okay. Is that a vanilla spell or is that one that's been added? Because it's not one I recognise. A bit slower than a horse. Pretty good. <laughs> Thank you, Jander. Soothing voice in the background while you play around with settings. I have to say, there's been many a mod that I've installed and configured while I've been watching someone else's stream, so I, I can uh, identify with that completely. <laughs> okay, Death Mints, thanks for stopping by, man. We'll, uh, we'll see you later. Enjoy school. The call of ability. Thank you very much for the follow. Good to have you with the Legion. Good to have you with, have you with us. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream enough to uh, to want to come back. That's great. You uh, can be streaming what in about uh, two and a half, three hours, yeah? It's usually about 2 a.m. my time, I think, when you start. Wayfair is up, excellent. Let's 
at that torch out we found. Just want to stay warm. Rain turns to driving snow and wind. Lovely. Just what we needed. Because yeah, it's been such a pleasant day up until this point. Anything you need, just uh, let me know. Not this one. Uh, mm. Don't particularly want to talk to you. Okay. We'll stay in there for an hour. Should give us our health back, which is nice. The mages don't mind the calling. They said it's oh, not safe. That's you. You've been in here visiting him, have you? I don't like to. Absolutely no time to deal with low lowlifes these days. Go away. Um, okay. What have you got for sale? Take a look. So you've got no time for low lives, but you're willing to sell me things. Excellent. Um, well, I'm going to sell you some things then. I'm not selling you that. to be able to afford a horse, just a need, needing about another thousand gold pounds, mm -hmm. thanks. I'm not going to take the gold off his table. Oh, let me get out of your way. Yes, please do, Arissa. I like bandits. They always keep their gold in their pockets. Terry! Hi! Welcome back! I've seen you before. Good to see you. Hope today went okay. Yes, I'd like to hire a high to go? carriage. Um, white run, please. Sit back and enjoy the ride. I bet you'll be glad to get to White Run and get out of this weather. Going straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the way? Um, wake me up when we get there. No problem. Well, the gang's all here now. The party's arrived now that Terry's here. You get around to you, Ter. Okay. <laughs> we know this about you. <laughs> oh, I think we all stop in on Gopher every now and again. Particularly when he's mod testing. Ha <laughs> 
think that goes for all of us, yeah. 